Welcome to Easy Elim, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning from two mathematics. Our topic for today is vectors. So we are going to do translation of vectors if you are given an image, an object and a translation vector. So we are looking for the image when you have been given the translation vector and an object. So we will find out what is a translation vector and how exactly do we use the translation vector to get to the uh, image that we want. So translation, if an, ob an object is moved in such a way that all the points move in the same direction and the same distance, we say that there's a double translation. We've talked about translation before in our previous uh, topic. You can go back and check in form two. So you can see like if you move point A to point A1 or A prime, so you see it's moving in the same direction as also C, you can see, and also as B, as you can see, and it moves in the same distance. So we say that this image ABC has been translated to A prime, B prime, C prime. So we usually talk about vectors. So we say that, let's say image A, B, C has been moved in the same direction and distance, and it's described by a vector negative 4 and 2, as you see from the image. So we call negative 4 and 2 the translation vector. So when we, let's say, for example, if you look at point A, point A is going to be 5, negative 5, 1. And A prime from the image is going to be 1, 3. So you can see when you look at 5, 1 and 1, 1, 3, there is a certain vector that has been added to get this image. And that vector is what we refer as the translation vector. So it means if we take 5, 1 and added the translation vector, which is negative 4 and 2, we are going to get our answer, which is 1, 3. So 1, 3 is what we refer to as the translation vector. So we are going to use the same understanding now to get different images when you are given different types of translation vectors and the uh, objects. So let's do a few examples. So if you have been given the translation vector is 5, negative 2, and you're given the point 3, 1, what is going to be the uh, coordinates of the image? That is B prime. So this is what it's going to be. So it's, it's P plus the translation vector to get the P prime. So this is going to be 3, 1. We are using 3, 1 because it's the vector for vector for p plus the translation vector now which is 5 negative 2 which will give us now our p prime so this is going to be so it's 3 plus 5 and 1 plus negative 2 which is going to give us 8 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1 so this is going to be the position vector for p1 so the coordinates for p prime is going to be 8 negative 1 I hope you got that. So let's do a few more examples. So the points A, B, and C, and D are vertices of a quadrilateral. If the quadrilateral is given by the translation T defined by vector 5, 3, look for the image. So basically, we're looking for A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. So let's do that. So we'll start with A. So uh, the vector for OA is going to be negative 4, 4. Vector for B is going to be negative 2, 3. And this is position vector. Just keep in mind. And then this is 4, 1. And finally, our D is going to be negative 5, 3. For us to be able to get the image, we need to add this point to the translation vector, which is 5, negative 3. So we will do the same in all the points that we have been given. So let's get the image for each specific point and then now we'll be able to get the coordinates for each specific image point. So this is the same as negative 4 plus 5 and 4 
plus minus 3, which will give us negative 4 plus 5 is going to be negative, to be positive 1. Be careful with the negatives. Then 4 plus minus 3 becomes 1 because we are subtracting. And then for B, we are going, it's going to be negative 2 plus 5 and 3 plus minus 3, which is going to give us negative 2 plus 5 is 3, and then 3 plus minus 3 is 0. Now C will be negative 4 plus 5 and 1 plus minus 3. So negative 4 plus 5 is going to give us 1. And then 1 plus minus 3 is going to give us minus 3. Finally, uh, negative 5 plus 5, 3 plus minus 3. So negative 5 plus 5 is 0, 3 plus minus 3 is 0. So the point for A prime is going to be 1, 1. For B prime is going to be 3, 0. And for C prime is going to be 1, negative 2. And for D prime is going to be 0, 0. So you see how we tackled that one by one. So later on in another lesson, you're going to discuss how we can draw this image on a Cartesian plane. Let's do a few more practice questions. So we are going to do this part and then you will do the rest. So for each of the points below, give the image when it's translated by the given vector. So we have a point 2, 3. So we are going to convert it into a vector which is 2, 3. And the translation vector is 4, 3. So we are going to add it to 4, 3. If we add it, it's going to be 2 plus 4, 3 plus 3 which is going to give us 2 plus 4 is 6, 3 plus 3 is 6. So the coordinate for this point, the new image is going to be 6, 6. In B, we have 0, 0. When it, we convert it into a column, vector becomes 0, 0. And then you add it to the translation vector, which is negative 2, 1, which will give us 0 plus negative 2 and 0 plus 1. So this is the same as negative 2 and 1. So the coordinates will be negative 2, 1. So you see how we've done that. And then we have negative 2 and negative 4. And the column vector now becomes negative 2, negative 4, plus the, transla the translation vector, which is 4, 3. This is negative 2 plus 4 and negative 4 plus 3. This is going to give us negative 2 plus 4 is 2, negative 4 plus 3 is 1. So the coordinates becomes 2, 1. This is very important to do one point at a time, especially if you are given a big image. And then after you get the values for each point, the images, then you can be able to plot them. So that's the, the, the other thing we are going to do later on in another lesson. So that's it uh, for today. You can finish up. You'll get more revision questions and notes on the same in the app. Go to the app, do the questions. The answers are there. Check if you've gotten the correct answers. And then in the next lesson, now we are going to change uh, everything. What if you are given... Uh, the image and you're given the translation vector, how do you get the object? So see you in the next lesson.